Hello, this is Ava, and today I'm going to be discussing CVCP pipes. So part A, my material I chose was chlorinated polyvinyl chloride pipes, or CPVC pipes. And then here are some of the sources I used. CVC. CPVC pipes have many purposes as pipes, including both hot and cold water applications, and it is commonly used in residential construction, but could be used commercially as well. Some of the properties of this material include that it is chemically inert or not reactive. It has a high heat distortion temperature, making it extremely durable and flexible. It has a high glass transition temperature, making it very strong. It is a solid when it comes to state of matter and has a strong resistance to corrosion, tuberculation, and deposits. Properties such as its ability to withstand high and low temperatures are extremely helpful for its intended purpose so that the pipes do not bend or melt. Other properties such as CPVC pipes inability to face corrosion can also become helpful in making the pipe last a longer amount of time without having to face any issues. So the backbone of the, uh, the molecule will be 25% chlorine and 75% hydrogen when in comparison to a PVP pipe would be, PVC pipe would only be 40% chlorine and 60% hydrogen. The elements contained within the CPVC include hydrogen, chlorine, chlorine, and carbon. The molecular polarity will have a equal interaction for CVPC with intermolecular forces such as the polar attractions between hydrogen and chlorine on either side of the molecule, causing a dipple-to-dipple -dipple reaction. Overall, that is the different parts of a CVPC pipe molecule.